inverse linear function. So we know about the inverse. The inverse is the opposite. If I think about inverse as far as um, adding 2 and negative 2, those are inverses. If I think about the inverse as far as multiplication, I'm talking about a reciprocal. Um, I kind of do the opposite, flip them upside down. So let's talk about inverse relations. If one relation contains the element AB, then the inverse relation will contain the element BA. So we're doing the same thing, we're flipping those around. So for example, A and B are inverse relations. So here's A, we've got negative 3, negative 16, negative 1, 4, 2, 14, and 5, 32. The inverse of that, which is B, I've taken all of my X coordinates and made them Y coordinates, and all of my Y coordinates and made them X coordinates. So I'm literally just taking my input and my output and I'm swapping them. So let's put this into action. Find the inverse of the relation. So I have this relation, negative 2, 8, 0, 4, 2, 0, 6, negative 8. The inverse of that is going to take every x coordinate and make it a y, every y coordinate and make it an x. So we end up with 8, negative 2, 4, 0, 0, 2, and negative 8, 6. From a table, we're just going to do the same thing. So I have this relation here in my table, my x's and my y's. I'm going to swap them. So everything that was in my x column becomes, an, becomes a y value. Everything that was in my y column now becomes an x value, my inverse relations. Let's take a look at what those looks on a graph. So we've seen ordered pairs, we've seen tables. Let's take a look at a graph. Graph the inverse of each relation. So here's my original relation here with this line. And I'm going to look for some points here. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to swap my x and my y values. So this ordered pair here is 0, 2. So when I go to graph its inverse, it's going to be 2, 0 over here. The sorted pair I have is 1, 0. So when I graph its inverse, it's going to be 0, 1. And then over here, I have 2, negative 2. When I go to graph its inverse, I'm going to do negative 2, 2. So there's my inverse here. Um, and one more. This is at our negative slope. Let's take one look at one that has a positive slope. So I'm going to take, again, each point. I've got negative 1, negative 3. So I'm going to graph this as negative 3, negative 1. I have another point here of 1, 0. I'm going to graph that as 0, 1. And I have one point here over th as 3, 3. That stays the same. So it's still going to be there up at 3, 3. So here's my inverse relation as it's drawn on a graph. So with an inverse relation, we're going to take each of the ordered pairs and we're going to swap the x and the y values. So what was the output now becomes the input. What was the input now becomes the output.